The Ogallala Aquifer is one of the largest bodies of fresh water in the world, and it's underground. It lies beneath the breadbasket of the United States. Farmers in eight American states currently depend on this aquifer for their livelihood, but now it's starting to run dry. Irrigation wells are pumping water out of this aquifer faster than the rains can refill it. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, over three and a half trillion gallons of water capacity were lost from this aquifer between 2013 and 2015. Streams are drying up at an average rate of six miles per year, and in some places in Colorado, the groundwater level has fallen by almost 100 feet. One farmer recently told the Denver Post that a well dug by her grandfather over 100 years ago just went dry. She warned that her home is becoming the Great American Desert. The Ogallala Aquifer is not going dry due to climate change. In fact, rainfall to the Great Plains has actually increased in recent years. The aquifer is going dry due to the industrial irrigation of farmland. In past generations, farmers included pastures and grazing animals in their crop rotations. And the grass that grows so well in these pastures holds water in the soil, and the manure from these grazing animals returns organic matter to the soil, increasing its water holding capacity. Now, industrial farms are sucking organic matter out of the soil, leaving bare ground exposed to the elements, and pumping huge amounts of groundwater for irrigation purposes. The result of all this is the Ogallawa is draining away. In ancient times, God commanded the law of the land Sabbath. This law stipulates that the ground lay fallow once every seven years, and it strongly encourages farmers to raise animals during that land Sabbath. That means that they need to be rotating those animals in their crop rotation during the previous years. This makes sure that water isn't actually taken away from the ground faster than it can be replenished. God took this law very seriously, and in Leviticus 26, he actually told the Israelites that if they broke his laws, including the law of the land Sabbath, he would scatter them amongst the heathen while the land lay desolate, and finally enjoyed its Sabbaths. To learn why laws like the Land Sabbath apply to Americans currently living in the Great Plains and beyond, please request Herbert W. Armstrong's book, The United States and Britain in Prophecy.